Alright. Hi! This is Coach MK. Sorry for the mess. Woo! One kid is downstairs getting speech therapy and the rest are at the park. Yay! Because school needs to come back in session real soon. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to do a quick set of Arch Inferno. I'm going to demonstrate two more moves and then I'm going to quickly because go through Damnation with a note about the new form cue about loading. Lock the back, load the front. <sighs> okay. So, and then uh, you'll see, because uh, I want to make that connection a little bit more clear. Since no one mentioned it to me today, I'm going to assume that connection didn't happen. So, we're gonna, I'm going to push that along. But first, here we go. A little bit of strength. Wah. While we're at it, those of you that follow me on Facebook, hope you can make the book club, uh, the non-reading book club uh, event that I just put up. I'm super excited about that. It's going to be amazing. How did no one tell me about Sundonku before today? It's amazing. Timers. Timer. Go down. Big toe up off the ground. Shift weight to the left. <sighs> Load. Pulse. The temptation will be to turn your body this way so that your foot is outwardly rotated. Resist. Toes pointed straight ahead. Pelvis too. Small, slow, and controlled is always preferable. We want collarbones open, not an extended, hyperextended back. Just open. This loaded. 20 seconds. legs down pulse I like to start with pulsing on my left because my right side is stronger so when I get here I feel more competent that loading cue I still can't believe it's new for people because the first time I learned it true story Charm school. 13. Oh, was I 12? I was young. Whenever you stand up straight in public, you draw your shoulder blades back. <sighs> Take a big old exhale. Everybody inhales to try to make their waist smaller, and all it does is make you look weird. You exhale and stand up tall. Big C charm school is usually the gateway to the real beauty pageants in the South. The ones like my friend Ani did. If you know Ani, she was very, very serious about that stuff. It was a national champion. Not like in Miss America. I think she was like Miss DC or something. She was close. And remember all of this, load, focus on the load. It's easier to load when your shoulders are back. Woo. Want to keep your upper body as still as possible. This is a quad challenge and a balance challenge. It is not actually about your calves at all. Your ankles work. What's the last one? Oh, Swiss boss squat. Where's Oh shit, 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 shit. That's awesome. We'll add 10 seconds to that. Sit 
So when I do the squish ball squats, I like to go slowly, exhale on the way down, and do a kegel. Really focusing on the connection between my booty, my pelvic floor, let the kegel go, bring everything together. Remember, you're not going to get as low in this one because of the ball between your knees and trying to press inwards on it, and that's okay. Okay, that puts me over. Yay! And that is your strength series. And that's done. Now, uh, feel free. I've got two more moves I want to show. My three days at the fair, people, and Shara. Need a little more room out here to do it. Okay, and the family's coming. Move quickly, move quickly, move quickly. Okay. We're going to see the Spider-Man movie, and everybody's a little apeshit, as you can imagine. Okay. So, we've got two moves here. Let's see if it's too far away. Let's try that. It's a little easier. Okay, so three days at the fair. Once you're lying on the ground, think about this, this muscle right here, this back side of your shoulder pressing against the ground. I want you to focus on pressing those down because the tendency is to curl upward and we don't want to do that. We want to press back, and we don't need to buy it. Flex your feet, 90 degree angle, pointing your toes towards your face. Do that big exhale. Loading the front, lock the back. By pressing the shoulders into the ground, load the front with an exhale. Externally rotate your feet. And then, this is bigger and more exaggerated uh, scissors. We're focusing on maintaining that outward rotation and letting our inner thighs touch. You can do this in place. Just wherever you do, if you find you letting go of this and it's getting bigger, you're, then you're too low. See, like, that's too low for me. This is where I need to stay. Okay, so that's move number one. Move number two, you can stop what you're doing with that, um, the hamstring pull where you're pulling that piece of paper towards you and you're gonna to graduate towards this. Take that squish ball and put it under your heel. Now, before we start, before we even do that, bring your heels about as close to your booty as you can where you'd have to put the small of your back against the floor to make that work and then inch forward a little bit. So you could do, here is really too close to do a good pelvic tilt. Here is just right. That's where we start. Put that ball under your left heel. And then slowly. Focus on locking the back. Again, the shoulder blades on the, the shoulders on the floor without rounding upward or without lifting your spine off. Your spine should be touching the ground and so should the back of your head. Try not to move the ball and maintain that load on the exhale. If you feel confident like you can, lift the right foot off the ground, but that's not necessarily better. Meeting your body where it's at is better. Hi, buddy. How are you? But if we, all we do is go right here, try really hard not to move that ball, and maintain this. Hold for 30 seconds. Where you should really feel it though, if this is properly loaded, is right here in the hamstring. So it's a different connection than what we were doing before. Um, it's, you're gonna feel it a little bit deeper and it's, frankly, it's a little more painful, but it's also easier. Mindy says she's getting ready for 3.15. All right, Alex, I promise we're, I'm gonna go. 
I'm going to change in just a second. Um, the app I'm using for my timer is literally just called Interval Timer. I looked for HIAT in uh, the App Store, and that's what I got. So, for those of you that have a TheraBand, the final thing is angels. You want to put this around both hands, get a good grip on it, because we want to bring the starting position is a big exhale with a loaded front. Two, one. Okay. It's a big exhale with a load in the front. Press the small of your back against the ground. Load the front, tabletop. Oops, sorry. I need, that's how you know I need to go further down. Okay. So we're starting out with our hands kind of here and they're coming forward towards my shoulders. It's not perfect up and down because if you did perfect up and down, you can't move your legs. You press down, focus on keeping the load and the small of your back on the ground. And all of the movement in your arms comes from right here. So, hi baby, one minute, I'm almost finished. So, small of the back against the ground, load the front. When you load the front, you'll notice that your armpits are drawn towards your waist the way we talked about two weeks ago. I teach this progressively. It was accidentally happening. Now it's, you're going to be a little more conscious of it. So when we pull, we want to think about straight back, slight pull forward, what that looks like from the side, is you're pulling like this. And all of that comes from here using your lats and your obliques, because what we're really trying to do is make, sure, make your obliques and your lats speak to each other. They tend to stop doing that um, after you've been pregnant and the muscles have started to relax and shift to accommodate that. So, but I'm getting, this is what we call the bat signal and I gotta go. I will try to see you guys later tonight. Um, but if I don't, your coach didn't love your wedding life and I'll see you tomorrow. And the last switch looks you're almost stand all the way back up. Um, yes. Almost, but not quite. Higher isn't better. All we need to do is focus on maintaining balance with that load. I don't really care if you can get two feet off the ground. I don't really care if you can bounce. It's, I, I don't care about that, right? All that matters is finding the challenge where this is exhaling and all happening. Shara, you gotta do these too. Just add them to the routine and I'll come back and talk about um, that connection between the exhale and aspire and dilation later. I'll leave you with this one thought. Most people do that when they're doing Russian twists. And that's why I'm able to touch the ground. If I was doing it the way most of you guys do, I wouldn't be able to touch each side either, right? Lock, load, roll back. And you'll have more space to do the Russian twist in that. Lock, load, exhale applies for everything in damnation. From really focusing on that while having, with having your glutes on at the same time while you're in a plank, as well as a push-up, and the Russian twist too. All right, bye. Yes, baby, hi. Hi, can I'm sorry. Can drink this? Yes, of course you can, but you gotta drink it up here with me while I get dressed, because.